No problem, sir. Sir, uh, sir, sir, sir. Uh, sir, uh, Subhas Banerji, sir, how are you? Banerji, sir. Banerji, sir. <coughs> Jawahar sir, you are also attending? Jawahar sir? Sir, uh, Hello sir, how are you sir? Sir, sir, sir. Sir, Banarji, sir. Hello, Banarji, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir uh, do you know you are the personality who uh, is uh, uh, have a very great uh, rescuing capability? <laughs> no, no, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Gautam Patra, sir, and uh, other dignitaries, and Banerjee, sir, for giving me an opportunity to uh, share my uh, that uh, understanding of my research area with the uh, galaxy of intellectuals. So, uh, sir, it will be a one hour talk, na? Yes, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. Huh. So, okay, and uh, I may request uh, 
the participants that if uh, somewhere something is not able not clear then please uh, uh, you may interrupt me at any time and then uh, you can uh, i will try to clear the points though i am not the uh, expert of uh, this thing because there is no end of learning so still i will try to uh, this thing sir uh, so i uh, hope that slides are visible yes sir ha so, ha thank you very much so uh, now i am starting uh, uh, my lecture so uh, this uh, as uh, it is introduced as uh, the title the fricko hcit chemistry Uh, foundation of a foundation of the thermodynamically and kinetically stable nano emulsions so uh, this fricko hcit chemistry basically or uh, fricko hcit uh, is derived from two important forces the frictional forces and the cohesive forces we know very well that uh, whenever any system is in chemi in, in chemistry Uh, any chemical process is conducted it will be con conducted by for example oxidation reduction that is redox system and uh, similarly suppose we take some i real systems not the ideal systems that time formulations of uh, taking different ingredients and then uh, medium uh, buffer or so a single uh, solvent or mixed solvent uh because of the polarity so what happens that uh, solvent uh, undergoes the structural change and uh, uh, by uh, uh, transforming its uh, uh, cohesive potential or cohesive forces because if we take water pure water then only hydrogen bonding is between water water molecules so uh, it has the Uh, stronger uh, that uh, uh, cohesive force or potential energy, and uh, whenever we, for example, add oil, so uh, this is uh, neither the oil nor the water uh, uh, is responding for the chemical process. No chemical process occurs. But when we take glucose or ethanol or acetonitrile, anything, then uh, Uh, there is a chemical process so why this chemical process because the water uh, and also the solvent the solute they undergo the mutual solubilization by uh, transforming their cohesive forces into the uh, they are uh, solubilizing in the sense the adherence forces so the solvent adheres around the ingredient and uh, if it is uh, adhered in a uh, very uh, mono layer mono dispersion that time the electrostatic forces of the solute as well as of the solvent if they are balanced in one is to one then it is a nano emulsion and thermodynamically and kinetically stable why it is thermodynamically and kinetically these two words are very important in in regard to the nano emulsion because nano emulsions are highly dynamic uh, mixtures uh, solutions so maximum brownian motions so their size is maximum and surface charges are maximum so if little bit either the solvent or the solute is getting little bit uh, uh, aggregation then immediately with time there will be phasing out so with time the chemical process is disrupted with time so where the gibbs energy the entropy and the, suppose system is uh, now separated out phased out then the entropy enthalpy and uh, the chemical potential uh, everything will change with time as there are two phases so kinetically and thermodynamically because system thermodynamic parameters change with time if system is not uh, stable so stability that's why thermodynamic and kinetic stability is in terms of the cohesive force and the adhesive force if the comparatively stronger adhesive forces are developed then the stronger cohesive frictional forces are developed then there is no chance chances are very uh, very very uh, minimum chances that the uh, uh, ingredient 
which is which is adhered by the solvent uh, uh, that uh, one is to one uh, coulombic interaction then uh, there is a, 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 a very mild possibility uh, that it may come out for example honey we know very well honey whether you keep for uh, one month or six months if it is pure honey uh, because cohesive forces of each and every ingredient are completely transformed into adherence forces so it will remain stable so this is the uh, introduction and uh, because uh, this precocity as i told you both forces are responsible for developing the nano emulsion and this thermodynamic kinetic is the secondary for stability so in this regard uh, we have to see that the precocity is a dynamic theory because uh, it is not a uh, just like a static because both uh, uh, the uh, uh, potential energy it is transformed into the kinetic energy then only adherence will occur so uh, uh, this is a, a, a kind of a, a dynamic theory for extracting or for making the best use of the potential energy to bring it to the workable dynamic state of ingredients in the medium so that medium molecules are adhered and there is no phase separation so ingredients mono essential condition that they should mono disperse and they will only mono disperse if the solvent is also undergoing stru uh, structural changes or the hydrogen bond is suppose water it should be completely uh, sir slides nahi aa rahi sir sir slides are not coming sir is it okay now yes sir yes sir okay so now i am going to the next slide so this is the situation that there should be a mono dispersion of uh, the ingredient as well as of the uh, solvent then to make the one is to one uh, kind of a arrangement of their uh, charge charges or electrostatic forces then only uh, there is a possibility that your resultant formulation uh, will remain uh, uh stable with time and uh, no there will be only the uh, uh, gibbs energy or the enthalpy entropy of a homogeneous single system not of phases that's why uh, this the moment aggregation is start even at the nano level uh, then what will happen then drastically uh, the uh, parameter the entropy basically the entropy uh, will change because uh, Nano emulsions are already, as I told you, highly active, uh, having maximum uh, Brownian motions because sur because of surface area or potential energy almost uh, very nil because 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 uh, the cohesive forces are uh, completely uh, utilized in converting it in converting the ingredient and the uh, uh, solvent into their mono dispersion. So this is the fundamental theory of the uh for cohesity chemistry then new product is formed if if with time uh, aggregation is start then the formulation the properties the physical chemical properties and the chemistry of the resultant formulas are changes that's why uh, this is the outcome of two cohesive and adhesive forces so they should be balanced if they are not balanced either the uh, cohesive forces slightly uh, uh, higher or the adhesive forces slightly higher then it will bring a a very very critical change in regard to the uh, physical chemical properties and the properties solubilizing properties dipole moment uh, of the resultant solution because uh, these resultant formulations uh, many times they are used for uh, uh, as a uh, drug delivery system or solubilizing systems so that's why this is very important for example this is a uh, 
uh, ionic liquid. We have taken this ionic liquid and uh, the monolayer of the water. So monolayer of the water, it means uh, this is uh, stable. But when the cohesive force is at the top side of this, many molecules, multi-layer of the water rise on this side is started. Then the cohesive forces will be higher than the adhesive forces. Then the whole, whole that uh, kind of a, uh, that uh, activities will be converted to the uh, cohesive forces. And there is a possibility that when a larger number of water molecules aggregate, then they may phase out the ionic liquid or any liquid. So there is a fundamental condition that uh, it should be monodispersed. And uh, this is a, one example because many times these flavonoids like polyphenols, curcumin, like quercetin, epigenin, meringenin, they are not soluble in uh, water. So uh, this we have conducted this experiment. So what we did, we tried to dissolve or to disperse this in the uh, aqueous DMSO. So 1% see the uh, emulsion, not a my, uh, my even the uh, micro emulsion, completely emulsion, 2% emulsion, 3% emulsion, then almost uh, after 6 and 7% uh, this uh, uh, micro emulsion started or 8, 9 perfect micro emulsion. Then further when we have gone to 10%, uh, it was perfectly transparent because nano emulsions are transparent and uh, uh, micro emulsions, they are opaque. So because of the size, light reflected and because a sharper sur that uh, uh, surface charges, so they quickly respond and completely respond. None of this person is there. So no question of refraction of the light or refraction of the light. It is integrated. That's why this solution we were able to develop. And in this, we double, we were able to uh, perfectly uh, dissolve or make the nano emulsion of the flavonoids in aqueous uh, DMSO solution. So properties, see the properties also change. Now, <clears throat> and this is, as I told you, the kinetic interfaces of ingredient solvent. The bulk phase is completely uh, uh, having maximum potential energy. So we have to make the best use of this potential energy to make the nano emulsion, not from outside. So we have taken this uh, example, this uh, uh, like interacting chemical species. Uh, if it is, uh, 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 we are able to uh, develop the, uh, or weaken the cohesive forces, weaken the cohesive forces, then definitely even oil, oil is dispersed in the water when surfactants are added, because surfactants are weakening the cohesive forces of the water. And then uh, in that situation, the solubility of the oil uh, in water is there, that develops the oil water nano emulsion. So see, this is a stronger cohesive force. There is no wettability. Wettability is uh, very least here. But when slightly uh, some surfactant type things are added, so no, I am not saying it is nano emulsion, but wettability is there. So such cases, such examples are very, very important for pesticides in case of uh, uh, this when pest farmers, they are spraying the pesticide. So if the pesticide is not of nano emulsion kind of uh, that structure, then unnecessarily accumulation of the pesticide on the leaf and this uh, uh, unnecessary uh, this uh, loading of the pesticide with the healthy leaf uh, will definitely create trouble. So we want that pesticide should be uh, uniformly and monolayer, very thin layer, very thin layer should be spread in. So and so that there is the economic mode method of this that no uh, maximum or uh, or no undesired uh, pesticide is uh, being spread in the in the field in the crop. Now, see, this is surprising situation that we just uh, uh, accidental experiment, uh, just milk, and uh, slightly uh, a small amount of sugar added, and it was just kept at a normal temperature. The fat is converted into the uh, nano rod shaped fat aggregation, not a uh, this uh, spherical. Simple science, simple science. I do not know whether sugar might have uh, uh, definitely temperature when we heat the milk, the, this fat comes at the top because uh, this the co cohesive forces between the, uh, this of course between the protein and, and the fat, there are slightly, uh, but there are other things also in the milk. So first fat comes at the top and protein remains dispersed. So this is the situation. 
So this nano rod uh, kind of uh, uh, this uh, arrangement was uh, aggregation of the fat in the nano rod uh, was observed. So now this is a very fundamental thing. We talk a lot about capillary action. So capillary action. See, this is the your solvent or your uh, this uh, nano emulsion or your any liquid formulation. This is hello. Should I continue? The slides are not seen. What is the difficulty? It is okay now. Yes. Ha. So, right, right. So, uh, see, this is the adhesive forces along with the solid wall, and that's why contact angle theta is developed. And but in the between, in the in the central part of this uh, uh, this uh, liquid, for example, water, all the uh, uh, that uh, uh, forces that is the natural forces of the Molecule, they are completely counterbalanced by the nearby molecules. So inside this, the difference in potential energy is almost zero. But at the surface, because at the top, uh, that there is no water, there is air. So air cannot counterbalance the 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 uh, residual forces or the water wall forces or the vector which were uh, which were uh, upward. So what happens? That the downward forces, because there is a tendency that they are counterbalancing. So, leach hat area law moves towards that side where the phenomena is used or leach energy is used. So, what will happen that uh, the top, the, uh, uh, the forces or the uh, residual vulnerable forces in the vector form, which were upward, now they are pulled down because these molecules are completely counterbalanced and now still they have, because nearby this, they are still trying to. Uh, I pull the molecule which are at the at the at the surface but since one is to one molecule is there here so completely uh, the uh, counter uh, or we can say the uh, negative uh, or the positive partially positively partially uh, positive charge on the hydrogen uh, is uh, developing the coulombic interaction with the partially negatively charged o atom so it is one by one so that by this surface, the, the thin layer and the tension is there because along with the wall, the balloon, along with the wall, the molecule wants to uh, go ahead because there is a uh, adhesivity. So along the surface is responding. But if we take mercury, it is a reverse case. Mercury stronger cohesive forces uh, uh, with the mercury. So it will not be detached with the surface, uh, with the solid surface of the glass and will come down. So that is convex, like this arrangement is already seen here. So this convex means that this is the reason that the mercury is mercury gives the accurate uh, uh, temperature reading of the uh, human body because there is no frictional force when uh, you are using this uh, uh, thermometer, mercury thermometer to uh, measure the temperature of the human body. Then uh, along with the valve. It is trying to be detached. So there is no friction, negligible friction. So whatever temperature is there, column rises accordingly. And it gives a perfect uh, that uh, temperature value of the body. And uh, this that's why this uh, contact angle theta is a very important. And we have seen that the pendant drop means uh, when the solution or uh, solvent or solution, the nano emulsion, when they are permitted to... Uh, uh, flow through the capillary and there is a there are two models of the flow continuum model and non continuum model in the continuum model continuously uh, connected to the reservoir sample but when it is it cut in between then it will develop a pendant and drop so we have seen that uh, uh, this uh, uh, theta is inversely proportional to the uh, number of uh, drops which are 
depressed, which are developed by the pressurized volume of the sample, uh, which is taken in the uh, in the uh, this is, these are measured with service meter. So when it is taken in the functional bulb and the volume of the functional bulb is constant, so we can easily determine the cohesive forces because K is a uh, constant. So uh, <coughs> we can calibrate first and then uh, we can take the sample. So it could be easily determined. This is an example that uh, here uh, the DMSO and water, so the hydrogen bonding, one is to one. There is no situation that the uh, DMSO is making a separate because through these adhesions, it is connected to the water and water is also through this. So this, because adhesive and co adhesion, adhesive or cohesive forces are almost balanced. So there is no tendency with time to be separated or to develop or to aggregate because of, because these forces are adhering. Now similarly, if you see uh, that uh, how we can identify that uh, X, XYZ solution is a solution of electrolyte like uh, NaCl or solution is of the surfactant. This is the simple uh, graph here that uh, uh, surfactant, when we take uh, uh, like NaCl electrolyte, so NaCl dissociated and it developed the strong ionic hydration and the charges are oppositely charges ionic hydration and this anion Sodium and Cl, they are embedded at the center of the uh, nano hydration sphere or the hydration sphere. And it this aligns the water molecule. So the uh, passive force also increases and the, and the shear stress or the, or the frictional force also increases. So uh, in such case, when we measure uh, the surface tension and the viscosity, any sample which we see, unknown sample, uh, which is increasing uh, both the uh, parameters, then definitely it is the uh, NaCl. But what happens with the surfactant? In case of the surfactant, because surfactant is uh, this, uh, of course, this uh, uh, NaCl is also, it is making a solution, but at surfactant of this person, it is not strongly ionic uh, forces. Uh, this, uh, but in case of the uh, surfactant, weakly uh, that hydrophilic uh, uh, head group, not very strong unlike Na cation, NCL anion. So it is partially charged, a weakly charged. So it develops uh, the weakly uh, hydration sphere and the uh, uh, hydrophobic, uh, they are aligned to one side. So in this, this, such situation, uh, uh, the surface tension uh, decreases in, and the viscosity increases. So that becomes a very important factor. However, in general, apart from this NACL, uh, this uh, uh, surfactant solutions uh, and eta eta s square t is the wettability eta is the viscosity and h is the height of the height in the uh, in the capillary uh, rise in time t and also its uh, surface tension so now if we see if surface tension is higher then the wettability is very, very, uh, is very, very low. So, uh, for farmers, it has a, not only for farmers, for solution preparation, it will have the least solubilizing capability. So, if we want that nano emulsion with maximum solubilizing capability, then we have to reduce the surface tension or the cohesive forces, then only the maximum uh, wettability will be attained. So, this is the example. Now, we can calculate also the size of the resultant uh, solution by this simple uh, equation. Eta is the viscosity of the, uh, your uh, resultant solution and uh, eta zero or eta naught is the viscosity of the, uh, your uh, medium. So, and this is the Einstein equation and phi is the fractional volume because if you are taking surfactant, then uh, certain water molecules are adhering the surfactant molecule. The surfactant molecules of larger size and not dissociated. Uh, suppose it is sodium dodecyl, only Na comes. So uh, now what happens? This Einstein equation uh, and uh, this 2.5 indicates that it is for spherical molecules. So we can also change if it varies, uh, increase or decrease, then it is because of the size of the resultant uh, that nanoemulsion particle. So uh, 
uh, this equation enables to calculate the size r or uh, diameter of the hydrodynamic sphere. So uh, this is the Einstein equation and uh, we can, once we determine the uh, eta r, then only unknown parameter is the phi. So phi is calculated with this. And now the phi is directly connected as I told you that it is spherical. So uh, uh, 4 by 3, this is the simple equation and uh, uh, phi and r is the uh, diameter of the uh, particle size and n Avogadro number and c is the concentration which you have taken in the solution either of the surfactant or protein or some other or ionic liquid. So uh, this r could be calculated uh, from this and uh, uh, this is a realistic because naturally flow it is not under any any force like DNS uh, that is the uh, forces some external forces are applied. So this fluid dynamics is a natural sign. So whatever molecules are adhered, they, uh, if they are uh, in the primary hydration sphere, they will act as a part and parcel of the uh, molecule. But if they are in the secondary tertiary, they may be reoriented and they may leave. So the only important, those molecules which become part and partial of the molecule, they have acquired volume and that's why we say fractional volume. So simple, same thing is there that it means a rheology is developed. Rheology is a very excellent uh, that uh, physical chemical property of macromolecules because in general, uh, when we allow them to flow uh, within the thin capillary reach, so what happens because large size is larger, so whole molecule may not be rotated uh, with same speed. So what happens? The upper portion, suppose it's the solid capillary here, this directly in touch of the solid capillary. So capillary is having stronger uh, frictional forces or opposing forces on surface. Suppose unit area is A. So on that, but the top, which is in the bulk, this may go faster. So this uh, 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 change in the velocity that the molecule or the or the uh, or the here uh, 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 the nano emulsion which is holding this molecule this is a, a dendimer molecule uh, TTDMM so what happens that this portion is fastly and this portion not going so this is the basic difference and this velocity gradient this velocity gra gra gradient creates little bit twisting in the molecular activities. So this testing is rheology. And now uh, we can also study magnetorheological uh, cryptofluidics because, uh, uh, because the uh, magnet, uh, generally what happens in case of the protein molecules, because protein molecules are uh, uh, chemically and uh, uh, thermally and uh, mechanically, they are unfolded. But uh, these things are added directly in touch of them. But magnetic uh, force is from outside, not directly in touch of that. In that case, when we allow them to flow, then this magnetic field also affects this uh, uh, rheology. That's why it is magnetorheology. So it is a very important data uh, based on the shape and size of the macromolecule. So this uh, FA. The forces, as I told you, opposing forces, A is the surface area where it is applied, and uh, uh, this is the shear stretch. And this velocity, some the velocity here uh, adjacent to the uh, rigid, so, uh, this rigid uh, uh, capillary wall uh, is, uh, uh, for, for example, V1, but a little bit away from this, it is slightly V2, but both are not equal. And that's why in along with Y axis, so this is the uh, shear rate. So these two parameters are very important in case of rheology and uh, that's why capillary science has become very important. So in this case, this capillary science is considering all these parameters. Uh, see this uh, is a service meter and uh, this simple is a reservoir uh, that uh, uh, bulb here, RB reservoir bulb and this is the major limb through this the sample is transferred into the uh, this bulb and uh, this is a uh, uh, this uh, uh, functional bulb for uh, surface tension measurement, it is as I told you, uh, there are two kinds of flows, continuum flow and non-continuum flow, this, it is cut off, it is in this environment and now this is the viscosity unit, same instrument and it is so, it, that when sample is lifted from this side and this works under pressure gradient. So when we have to, we have to close these things, suppose we, I want to measure the uh, surface tension, 
then because here is a sample filled here, so this sample acts as a, a, a soft ball or liquid ball because it does not allow the environment this uh, air directly in, in 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 the sample which is lifted to the side. So this is CPU when sample is comes to the side, sample goes because piston one piston fitted here to create the value this uh, pressure gradient. We reduce the pressure and to compensate this pressure. The liquid comes to this side and this pressure is generated very slowly so that there is no shocks and no mechanical uh, kind of uh, 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 this uh, 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 defaults in the, in, the, in the molecule. Suppose there are macro molecules so, or complex molecules. So when sample comes this side, it's a functional bulk, this is, their lines are there and then uh, again this, is come, this solution is taken to this side. So this is a buffer bulk. Because when we are pushing the sample, lifting the sample, then it is uh, uh, a little bit under uh, uh, stress. I have already explained the uh, rheology. So it gives some time so that the molecule gains its original state. It becomes in the rest position, equilibrated. That's why buffer system. So this service meter is a very ultra accurate de a device uh, which uh, uh, sensitizes each and every uh, activity of the molecule. So when, uh, and this is the pressure limb, uh, when sample is taken, these two limbs are closed. And when the sample is coming to the side, then this uh, number, as I told you, soft valve, and this also acts as a filled with the solution. And it is also the, acts as a uh, uh, liquid valve or soft valve, so that air from the side cannot come in the contact of air. That's why uh, this device, this is the only device which can measure these physical per per chemical parameters in environment nitrogen. Nitrogen cylinder is fitted here with these two. So uh, nitrogen environment slightly, uh, slightly little bit uh, more nitrogen. So now when we are measuring, so we leave this. Uh, first we evacuate the solution by removing the uh, piston, this removing the stopper from this side. And it is pressure is completely equilibrated. And now here pen and drop are developed. And pen and dots within these two things are measured. Similarly, the sample is also uplifted. So piston is fitted here to the uh, functional bulb of viscosity unit. And these two are stoppers. And it remains open. So solution similarly comes. Now if you see, these two units are replica. That's why we are in position to determine the frequency. Everything is perfectly constant. And the sample, everything. So continuum flow which is expression of the cohesive forces and the viscous flow, which is the uh, expression of the continuum uh, uh, flow. So continuum flow means the frictional forces and, the, and the, this non-continuum flow means the uh, uh, pendant drop formation here or the cohesive forces. So we have conducted these experiments, excellent that see the systematic uh, that uh, arrangement of the, uh, these uh, uh, sample uh, pendant drops on the solid surfaces as per the as per the uh, surface forces of the solid surface it was at a very fairly constant temperature see the forces is spreading and together cohesive and adhesive both forces are absolutely working that's why their chemistry is reflected here some is shining some is not shining so this becomes a remarkable uh, that sign of cohesivity chemistry and this device, now I am quoting this example. See this uh, uh, phytochemical, no, no, no surfactant is added, but see this uh, non-porous thin film, nano thin film is developing, it enters. This also, this service meter also uh, uh, takes into account such potential features of the nano emulsion. And now see this is a, like a graphene, thin film, nano thin film in between. So again, this is, uh, uh, refraction that, uh, that uh, because too much multi-layer, multi-layering is not there. Single, single layer is just there. That's why there is a, and also here, does not mean you cannot say that there is no liquid layer. There is liquid, but one monolayer liquid is there. However, coulombic forces, pressure is inside, but it is not broken. It is like a balloon. It is not broken. Balloon is single layer. So it is not broken. But uh, when you are putting external, too much external pressure, then uh, definitely this non-porous thin film will be broken. So this shows that uh, whenever we develop 
are this uh, soap solution, other known porous thin films or nano thin films are developed. Now, this is the best example of uh, fricohacity, tears of wine. And uh, generally, people take wine. And uh, this is the wine glass. And uh, what happens that uh, they uh, add water. The surface tension of the water is 72 milli Newton per meter. While the surface tension of ethanol is uh, almost uh, 22 uh, milli Newton uh, per meter, uh, around 22 or 26, I think. Uh, a large difference, almost two times difference. So what happens when you are mixing? They, from outside, it seems they are mixed. When you are mixing, then the mixture, uh, 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 mixture is, is sticking to the wall of this glass. But as I told you, the cohesive forces, if stronger cohesive forces, it will not be evaporated. So what happens? That ethanol, ethanol is a, ethanol is a, ethanol is a here ethanol uh, evaporates early. And what happens? That water molecules are there. When these water molecules, they are not in position to, to evaporate, they get condensed. So when the cohesive forces, the cohesive forces are generated, then they come together, density increases, they come back in the form of tears. That's why tears of wine. And now crystal garden. Why crystals are going up? Because the, it was the nano hydration, as I told you. Both the uh, counter uh, that, uh, uh, that, uh, uh, that uh, anion and cation, they were hydrated. And when this evaporated, they are going, going, going. So what happens at the, with this? The first some crystals growing here, then again grown. So height is gained because it indicates adherence. Similarly, perfect example of a laminar flow, fluidic. They see this thing. It was a simple uh, that uh, one uh, fungus was grown. And we wanted to see what happens, how it affects the fluid dynamics of the liquid. So it has developed a remarkable laminar flow. And this is the carbon fiber. So this is uh, another this device here, interfacial tension, liquid-liquid interfacial tension. So uh, this IFT, another arrangement here, it is fitted. Now, uh, same thing. Uh, now, this, while this uh, iodine uh, is separated, it goes to the from carbon tetrachloride uh, to the uh, to the uh, this water because it has uh, though it is mild but it has a, a tendency it has a capacity to be adhered by the water that's why it goes but when you and this whole science you can easily understand uh, so uh, now same thing I have already this explained now this is a simple uh, frequency index. We determine this is the frequency and this is the constant and d by uh, d is a shear stress and it is also determined and PDN are also determined, surface area determined, kinetic energy determined, activation energy determined. All these parameters, the fundamental parameters of the nano emulsion. Their surface area important their kinetic energy important and they have least activation energy. Uh, they are not bulk. So least kinetic energy of uh, uh, the nano, sorry, uh, activation energy of the nano is very least. They are already uh, hyper. They are already activated. So this is the uh, example that uh, if uh, the solution uh, or nano emulsions are stable, then the frequency in the uh, will be a bit time will be same. But if uh, some uh, uh, aggregation, aggregation because of the cohesive forces or agglomeration again because of the different size oriented things or coalescence again because of the charge based things, if they, these activities occur, then in that will vary. So now another important point, frequency of anti-corrosion uh, nano emulsions. Everyone knows that uh, this rusting Without moisture cannot occur. Without oxygen cannot occur. So oxygen and the water moisture, they are adhered very, very closely to the uh, surface of the uh, metallic iron, iron, uh, iron uh, item. So when they are very closely, uh, very closely are adhered to this, then what will happen? 
this undergoes oxidation. Oxygen quickly takes this ox ox this is oxidizing agent quickly takes and this and again uh, this uh, again attracts uh, attracts the water. Then this HO develops and this because hydration. So this hydroxide is developed. Further it keeps going on. So this is the fundamental sign. The adherence at the at the electronic level. If there is no adherence. There is no question, so that's why MFP means uh, this melamine, uh, formaldehyde, pyrrolidin, uh, re resin, a thin film, it makes the thin film, then there is no contact, there is no ad adhesion, so uh, nothing will happen to the iron. So these are the fundamental sciences that the topography means the Brownian motion, so the charges, they are in the form of wave functions, psi. So they are the wave functions, uh, when adherence, the, the ingredient, they are monodisper, they have charge, charge are oscillating, the solvent or the medium, it is also oscillating, a kind of cross-linking is established. And this cross-linking, if it is one is to one, if it is one is to one, then definitely a very stronger, uh, nano, a very stable nano emulsion. But by chance, if some uh, temperature change, pressure change or some other parameter change, then definitely agglomeration or aggregation will start. So this is a simple method for uh, my cell because aggregation is start. And now surprisingly, if you have this, see the, compare this thing. Uh, 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 this uh, milk, why milk boils? Again, this is non-porous, non-porous thin film. Fat is coming and making a, uh, making a uh, thin film here, not nano thin film, but thin film. So the air which was inside, and why it is because fat is going to the top. The fat which was dispersed, now it, it since it was weakly uh, dispersed, so I do not know whether the milk is uh, thermodynamically, kinetically stable or unstable. You have to answer this, and uh, you have to think. Uh, when we heat immediately, uh, this uh, uh, by chance we are not able to care whole hole that the milk comes out. Why? Because inside uh, this uh, uh, too much pressure is generated. Why too much pressure generated? Because no water molecule is escaped. It is a completely non-porous thin film. So had it been porous, then it would have not come out. Now compare this thing. See this, uh, we have added phytochemical pumpkin. So slightly see the change in the milk only. So phytochemicals, they are acting as a solvent and they are also dispersing the fat. That's why we say that phytate, phytochemicals, especially that uh, pumpkin and others, so they will also dissolve the fat even from this uh, artery where this, uh, uh, where, and there may be no need of uh, uh, getting fit in the stand because uh, the, uh, this, uh, uh, fat or other things we are uh, deposited there, it will go out. Now compare this thing, simple method, kitchen chemistry. See, this is the buffalo milk and this is the cow milk. Cow milk height is nice as compared to the, uh, this uh, height of the uh, thin film of the milk of buffalo. See here. So this proves that uh, buffalo uh, milk is having uh, larger amount of the fat compared to the cow and uh, it is making comparatively the stronger thin film. So that's why it is more and more uh, water is coming from inside because in milk there is water. So it is able to bear and goes up. When it goes up, then larger amount and when it means, uh, I do not know whether uh, participants will uh, answer themselves that whether in the buffalo milk on boiling larger amount of buffalo milk will come out or the cow milk will come out. So, because larger amount, whole amount will go out like a uh, milk bomb. So, this is simple adhesion and cohesion. Simple fricohacity, kitchen fricohacity chemistry, nothing else. But generally, we do not take notes. Now, see, we have extended this service meter, design service meter, and we have tried to determine the uh, molecular weight of the graphene activation energy the graphene graphene is the ultra sensitive molecule so that's why it is an excellent photocatalyst and why because negative positive holes 
So it was a complete dark. And first time we have determined the molecular weight and we have also seen that its activation energy least because it is already already the activated. So uh, this is the setup which we have conducted with this service meter. As I told you, the service meter is ultra accurate. It can determine many, many parameters, the molecular weight and the, however, the, no one can determine the molecular weight of the, of the, of the, of the graphene using the UV because already ultra sensitive. We have found that when single photon by mistake, when we were conducting experiment, some photon came reading chain. So uh, the traditional conventional other methods are completely failed. The service meter is the only method that the, it can determine the uh, molecular weight, safe size, surface area, activation energy. This simple, everyone knows that. Uh, so this arrangement because uh, see it is a systematically making uh, single, uh, however, uh, it is uh, uh, this uh, uh, some arrangement of the exfoliative sheet, exfoliative sheet. So here also some arrangement, but if it is water, this is another because exfoliative sheets by tonication. So these oscillations are also there and molecular weight by applying this uh, mark hobbing equation. This is the mark hobbing equation. So we have also determined very systematic exfoliative sheet. Uh, now, a thermodynamically, kinetically geo, stable geo, nano immersion attained by balancing cohesive, as I told you. If no balance in the, or this uh, 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 geo tend to aggregate, but we have seen it has made a perfect nano immersion. Even it was not, even it was not settled or aggregated for six months. Why? Because many, many uh, functional edges exist. And these all functional edges, they engage the water very strongly. So develop the stronger cohesive forces. The stronger co cohesive forces neither with the geo nor with the water exist. That's why cohesive force is converted into an adhesive force. And adhesive force remains functional. When it remains functional, then there is no question of uh, uh, aggregation of this geo and not making any separate uh, thermodynamic with time. So it has become an excellent. So basically, as I told you that uh, uh, photocatalyst, it has reduced the, uh, this uh, methylene blue completely. See, uh, this uh, methylene blue, so uh, this uh, quaternary, uh, this sulfur is completely reduced by the methylene blue. Why? Because methylene blue very closely adhered to the sheet of the uh, geo. Had it not been closely uh, adhered, there is no question of exchange of electrons. So that's why this was the session. So band gap zero or almost uh, near to zero. Now this is the fundamental sign because redox cycles, it develops rock cycles. And this is also very, very important for splitting the water. Because water is strongly adhered, as I told you, the dipoles of the water, the dipoles of the water are strongly adhered to the negative positive holes of the graphene at a Lennard zone potential distance. And when Lennard zone potential distance, then the electronic reaction occurs. And see this, uh, your water, this hydrogen is obtained here because this uh, is splitting and H and O and this uh, H proton takes uh, 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 this uh, electron uh, or negative hole from the graphene and is converted into the high hydrogen. Similarly, this, it was a very surprising experiment that we uh, tightly uh, taken uh, or we have taken uh, this whole mixture graphene and methylene blue in a sample and lid was fitted very strongly. It was surprised, it's a very surprising situation to us. Then lid was coming, coming out, lid was coming out because now chlorine is also developed here. Chlorine is also developed because from this. So we were shocked to see, we were not able to judge that why this, uh, uh, this uh, lid is coming out. Initially we thought that someone might have disturbed. But when we have carefully visualized that this hydrogen, oxygen and chlorine gases are, uh, uh, are generated, they are putting a lot of pressure and then they were 
uh, uplifting the uh, lift. So uh, the best method for corona time, uh, pure for pure oxygen is by splitting of the water from the simple graphene and also hydrogen green or clean fuel hydrogen. So a good solution. The same situation here. The same this fundamental science is shown. Now another situation. If we uh, want to uh, enhance the photocatalysis method or the splitting method, then we have to dope. We have to dope the graphene. We have doped with the CDS and it has increased cadmium sulfide nanoparticle. And it was also monodispersed, we ensure. So it was monodispersed and also enhanced the uh, methylene blue uh, because it established the closest contact. When it, it has functionalized many, many uh, that the functional group. So uh, uh, exponential number of the uh, functional groups were generated. And they established very close contact, very close adherence uh, with the, uh, this uh, methylene blue and the water. So this splitting and oxidation reduction occur. Uh, same situation also see splitting. Now, it was very surprising situation that uh, cadmium sulfide, this is the FTIR and doped with this uh, geo doped with the CDS. See, no stretching. Now, no stretching. It means FTIR inactive complex is developed. You can use in coating anywhere. So no stretching, no energy, no oscillation, no defect will occur. Same thing. And it was Raman, in, Raman active. See, this is a D and G band. Why? Because the structure was captured by this functional group was captured by this uh, CDS. So stretching is stopped and uh, polarizability because the uh, Raman spectroscopy works on higher polarizability. The structure is stable, then you can say polarizability. If structure is already stretching, then there is no polarizability. So uh, this is in a very excellent experiment that Raman active uh, this uh, nanoparticle CDS dope geo and uh, FTIR inactive. So same thing here. See bottom up and uh, uh, bottom down. See this uh, bottom top to bottom to top here. See this here is stronger. It is a uh, top. It is a top. When is top is going to this, then bottom means nanoparticles are developed. Simple thing. Nanowire, carbon nanowire. So different dipole structure. So the stability of the uh, nano emulsion because the quadrupolar structure in between the because as I told you surface charges. So quadrupolar structure orientation occurs. So they remain fairly stable until unless they are not disturbed. They are not disturbed. So this is simple. Uh, uh, this uh, frequency higher uh, because cohesive forces uh, here almost nil and only adhesive and nano emulsion particles, small small particles, surface area maximum, and then the adhesive forces uh, maximum because solvent is uh, not allowing to go back to this bulk situation, not allowing. However, if they go, if your purpose is to uh, bottom to top, then it is a different situation. Otherwise, uh, this is the remarkable science of the frequency chemistry through the cohesion or the frequency. Same thing. Now PM2 point, uh, this particulate matter particle, very, very uh, uh, dangerous, pollutant. See, this is a stronger cohesive force size is larger, surface area less. They will not be able to enter the alveoli in through the, in through the respiration. But 2.5, the size is smaller, they can enter. So all these things, they can enter easily. So the, now another important point, if you want to, if you want to uh, encapsulate the drug, uh, the, how, which kind of uh, drug vehicle should be there, it should have maximum monodispersity. So this is a dendimer and this trimethyl, tridimethyl malonate, it is completely monodispersed. No any binding site and in such situation, maximum drug is encapsulated and we have conducted the experiment with silibinine. We have found that uh, excellently uh, uh, this uh, uh, encapsulating and releasing. However, 
when in place of methyl when we have taken hexyl then no large amount was encapsulated but sustainable uh, release of the of the sustainable release of the silabinin drug because uh, uh, this uh, steric effect of uh, alkyl chain so it uh, make a kind of uh, uh, basket type and slowly and slowly it end up now another important point of this uh, our faculty dr mandal here uh, he also guided us so what happens uh, this surface meter technology has determined the uh, contribution of the pi bond it was a benzene benzene and uh, uh, benzene and water were taken then uh, there is no solubility so liquid liquid interface was developed interfacial tension was measured and uh, it came uh, uh, 14.32 uh, but when it was cyclohexane nothing but change temperature change no change pressure no change and amount no change only in place of benzene cyclohexane was taken so we thought it was surprising we thought that it will be it will uh, uh, have a uh, uh, higher mutual solubilization with the water but it had least so we found that uh, uh, sorry this is uh, more solubilization uh, why because uh, this cyclo delocalization delocalization is uh, uh, inhibiting uh, or preventing this benzene to be to be solubilized in the water but cyclohexane these three uh, pi bonds are gone so slightly more and that's why uh, this interfacial tension 10.59 uh, uh, newton meter so almost 3.59 and 3.6 so one pi uh, contribution for mutual solubilization 1.2 milli newton uh, per meter or milli joule square so this was the remarkable sign of the service meter that it can determine the contribution of the uh, pi uh, that uh, electron and uh, same thing the size if size increase and decrease then definitely uh, it is size dependent because precocity and cohesive forces cohesive forces if size is more then cohesive forces are higher so if size is less then cohesive forces are lower cohesive forces are stronger so in that context it becomes a least activation energy automatically activated and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this uh, we can say that uh, capillary science capillary science is a fundamental science no one can survive without the capillary science the oxygen which is uh, uh, through the respiration is trapped by the alveoli and then the rbc and it goes uh, to the blood uh, and through blood this goes to the heart and heart pumps and oxygen comes with this so what happens within this capillary so service meter means survive without capillary so this is extended to the service meter so capillary is a fundamental sign and without this no one can uh, survive now another fundamental application in day to day uh, use in general uh, people when they smoke after uh, when they drink uh, wine after that they feel uh, the thirst for smoking there is a science of that because uh, this uh, solubility of ethanol in water is 16 g per liter so when ethanol is taken if it uh, it uh, immobilize the water of the tissues connective tissue epithelial tissue muscle tissue and nervous tissue so person becomes stiffer and what happens so person automatically thinks that uh, smoking so nicotine comes then what happens the nicotine solubility in the water is least but in the ethanol is more 16 so what happens that this nicotine takes the ethanol from the ethanol water complex or ethanol water solution so when this nicotine takes the ethanol this uh, ethanol from the water and water is released person feels little bit uh, little bit some healthiness or activity so that the signs so here this uh, 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 adherence or the solubilization cohesive for this is a completely cohesivity chemistry and we know that the capillary science three or this is the best combination without this we cannot survive same thing this co2 goes back and this oxygen alveoli as i told you and circulated now another important point carbon suits and pm they are adhere 
if they are as yet in large number cohesive forces then there's no issue then more than pm more than 10 but if it is uh, slightly less then it is causing it can ent enter the enter the uh, this respiratory tract and go, go to the lungs and then rest of the lungs so now another surface charge is this is the surface charge dynamics a very very important somewhere more negative it is completely uh, zero so it is highly stable nano emulsion but if it is uh, uh, a positive charge more than tendency of that uh, ingredient which is having they will try to aggregate and similarly reverse with the negative so this is a very very this science is used to, to develop the quantized organic sanitizer same microfluidics microfluidics because so thin layer the nutrients the water everything goes not in the cluster form has it been clustered it is no possibility xylem is plant a root in the through osmosis thin capillaries there is no question of survival so and if it is a cluster too much aggregation so it will it will rather block the capillary just like a blood clotting because by chance if uh, uh, if aggregation of anything happens in the lungs then lungs capillaries are very soft then it will uh, 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 block that and uh, the clotting will start so same thing is a capillary sign the surface winter is a capillary sign advances capillary science prevents multiple use of samples stop escape of carcinogen carcinogenic volatile inflammable compounds because it can measure any liquid whether it is a volatile inflammable carcinogenic anything and formulates thermodynamically kinetically stable nano emulsion identifies electrolyte solution or surfactant solution determine protein unfolding determine wettability of uh, pesticide for pesti of pesticide for farmers and soaps and detergents so uh, <clears throat> this is already commercialized by the borosil and now this uh, is uh, simply uh, that uh, nano emulsion see the uh, twin 80 one double bond here see the wonder of the double bond and uh, and uh, see here as uh, a uh, uh, twin 60 no double bond so the, it is making uh, 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 emulsion and the twin 20 is making uh, nano emulsion so see the surprising how aggregation uh, varies with the structure. Now this is another important point: particle size. Uh, particle size is smaller. Frequency is smaller. So this hole or shear stress is smaller. Now this is frequency is calculated with the Mansing equation. Uh, this uh, sigma is the frequency of the sample and sigma naught or sigma zero frequency of your medium. T uh, is the viscous flow time of your sample and t of the medium and b by plus minus b by t is a kinetic energy correction if there are certain uh, hydration or some your capillary is not uniform that time and then n is a pendant of number replica i have shown the replica and it is of the medium and this is the buoyancy correction because it is a non-continuum flow so this is the viscous this uh, density and air density so kinetic energy correction and buoyancy energy correction they were negligible 10 to power minus 7 to 10 to power 6 so we omitted and then from this equation uh, this uh, two, this correction terms are uh, 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 omitted because no correction is required for this service meter device so this equation is modified like this then similar terms are taken out see this similar terms are taken out again the similar terms are taken out and uh, this similar terms belong to the medium and tn is the function of the solution or sample so sigma 0 by t0 n0 is the mansing constant and this is directly proportional to t viscous flow and directly proportional to the pendant drop number and this is a perfectly uh, uh, authentic equation noted as a mansing equation so frequency is a dual force theory a dynamic theory not not potentializes it functionalizes your material so excellent sorry for functionalizing your nano emulsions your bulk emulsions or your macro macro molecules because it enhances the surface area now this is that we have seen this uh, uh, this jadano uh, cap that uh, this uh, uh, flavonoids or uh, like phenolic compounds from extracted from guava see this is uh, uh, when larger it means uh, uh, this is moving towards the larger amount is, is being taken so aggregate starts because it occupies it has it has 
multiple electrostatic sites and this multiple in case of one multiple electrostatic sites that occupies or engages larger amount of the solvent or medium however when you increase then medium is already engaged then aggregation is start and then micro emulsion formation start not the emulsion so now this farmers as i told you wettability uh, this surface tension maximum uh, this is particle of this size and pesticide uh, of this size and farmer is just wasting the pesticide uh, because no formulation if uh, wettability high particles this uh, small amount and this small amount because wettability high and cohesive force is least then farmers are benefited economic so now what happens this is the size and uh, we can say that uh, uh, this uh, if uh, uh, these things uh, uh, also enter uh, with uh, with this uh, nasal uh, this uh, cavity and others on the respiration then along with the pure oxygen the purpose was taking pure oxygen so many other things will be mixed and and then so many other things even if reach to the mitochondria pulmonary so pulmonary surface and here is very very important so situation is like this like this now what happens the pulmonary surfactant if there is no pulmonary surfactant then see the twisting of the capillary this uh, uh, the diaphragm of the lungs and uh, there is a the question of rupturing as i told you without surfactant because ideally the 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 uh, this lungs fluid should have 17 to 25 milli newton per meter surface cohesive force or surface tension if it is maximum expansion may not be there and for healthy uh, lung 6 liter of 6 liter oxygen should be occupied when it is fully filled so it will not be filled so that's why this uh, pulmonary surfactant is very very important and see here there is no any kind of rupturing because it is not allowing cohesive force but it is allowing flexibility adherence so no uh, this uh, rupturing this is the uh di uh, palmetile uh, this uh, phosphatidyl choline pulmonary surfactant uh, this in between the glycerol and palmitic acid palmitic acid and here phosphatidyl choline so this is made up this plays the master role and respiration at that time it is very important now another point we keep saying that oxygen 98% 100% 100% 100% uh, oxygen saturate is it is only possibility that uh, this oxygen should come in contact and should be adhered by the hemoglobin and by chance some other things are adhered then uh, the pure oxygen will not be there and now this is the uh, uh, this size uh, this size when it is moving uh, this uh, is uh, uh, this uh, saturation when it is moving 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 then it will be completely saturated when Uh, this uh, 98% oxygen by hemoglobin in general one hemo hemoglobin captures four oxygen molecule so what will happen uh, this adherence this will 100% or 98% means that rbc or the hemoglobin uh, this is uh, having the uh, 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 no thalassemia or it is healthy not twisted if had there been thalassemia it is not able to adhere this much amount or to capture this much amount it is not a chemical absorption it is a physical absorption so after that is released so that's why uh, this uh, oxy hemoglobin uh, dissociation curve it is very important generally we are seeing this now oxygen comes through this and this tissues and uh, chloride also plays the master role because when taking it oxygen taking back because this oxygen from this uh, alveoli goes to the tissues ultimately our uh, tissues uh, works a lot and uh, now this surface meter so important because capillary sciences so uh, many universities they have opened the uh, analytical centers like this uh, 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 swami rama nand tirth uh, uh, marathwara university nanded mara and so many other university under rusa so they are working and uh, now this was my talk and uh, this is the book if someone wants to uh, someone wants to uh, uh, go ahead for some understanding and this is whole device and i am also the author and my wife dr sunita 
uh, she has done a lot of uh, sacrifice for this so that's why she is also equally uh, having all rights so this was the point which i wanted to share with you so thank you very much uh, for uh, uh, bearing me and uh, uh, my this thing so uh, honorable patra sir sir honorable subhas banerji sir 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 usko khol dena usko सर 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 इट मीन्स आई एम नॉट एबल टू आई एम नॉट एबल टू टू कन्वे माई माई साइंस टू द पार्टिसिपेंट सर सुभाष बनर्जी सर इज माई रेस्क्यू एंड ही इज लाइक माई गॉड this is fact sir this is fact i always salute him sir ओके सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर सो सर 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 सो ऑनरेबल पात्रा सर अदर डिग्नेटरीज ऑनरेबल सुभाष बनर्जी सर थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट प्लीज थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड माय ईमेल वाज देयर आई विल बी ग्लैड इफ एनी क्वेश्चन क्वेरी एनीथिंग रिगार्डिंग दिस सो बिकॉज सर साइंस इज ए वेरी कोलाबोरेटिव Uh, and uh, very uh, explorations are through collaboration or through uh, this uh, mutual understanding and interactive so i will be it will be my pleasure to be at the service of the participants sir thank you sir so okay sir should i withdraw sir yes sir great Okay sir thank you sir great sir great great sir